All right, I'll try and hold the camera steady this time. No tripod. So this is the final block that I just finished machining, and I I kept all the sides the uh, same, and I think it turned out pretty good. This is with the round nose insert cutter. So it looks like this. That's a four millimeter insert on there. And it's just a carbide insert, nothing special. And uh, yeah, some one, two, three blocks just to get the alignment, get everything squared up. And uh, that's how it looks. The G code, so what I ended up doing for this was not like a climb and conventional uh, operation. Uh, I'll show you the G code here. So you can see here the uh, so I went I went with a step over a maximum of three. Um, it's not exactly three because it gets calculated, and uh, I ran this thing at twenty four thousand and uh, a feed of ten thousand. So pretty fast. Uh, I found the faster I go with this thing, regardless of um, trying like trying to keep the ratios of the, the spindle and the feed the same, it just likes going really fast. So. Yeah, this is with 10,000, and this was giving me the best results. Um, it was a a uh, short, uh, small step down of 0.1 millimeters. So probably if I if I stepped it down more, like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, I could probably go at it slower and get better results. Um, doing so, I might be able to get like you can see probably the. The swirls of the machine uh, of the tool mark. Uh, I could probably smooth that up a little bit by taking a deeper cut. It's just that, like when you're when you're skimming off a small amount, it's just it's hard to like keep the cutter engaged in this because it's just all the downforce. And uh, yeah, so the uh, the operation you saw in the previous video, uh, it doesn't have any sharp corners. So as it's going, it's kind of making this pill shape and doing uh, climb cutting that way. And I did that because uh, like I don't have a very rigid frame right now for a base for this thing. So at, at faster feeds, the whole thing likes to shape, shake uh, when the acceleration uh, goes down like that. So keeping it nice and smooth helps out a lot with that. And uh, yeah, so stuff like this, just calculating the step over, and then we have a a while loop. That's what that looks like. Uh, the G3s, G3 right there, and then there's another one there. Those are the the round arcs at the ends, and then my so there's my feed right there, the G1, and then the the G0 rapid to go back to the beginning. So on the B on the on the G0 going back, I go on an angle. So looking from this direction, it's uh, so it's coming back this way to get to the next uh, pass. And uh, unfortunately, like uh, I couldn't get the G3 to run any faster. Like it seems to slow down. Uh, there's probably some smoothing, interpolation, um, something going on. Uh, I'm using G64 right here and uh, continuous mode uh, and that's one of the newer things with the, the latest uh, uh, Linux CNC but yeah overall like the you know if you watch the video it kind of arcs up and then it kind of pauses and then it goes and then you know it goes arcs down and then it pauses and then it does the G1 pass and yeah if it, if it could just stay continuous you know go slow and then wrap it up go slow that would be best. Uh, if you guys know how I can fix that, let me know. Because that would be great. So, yeah, next up on this, it's the same deal as this one here. This is how that one turned out. And I just have to pretty much just do the same thing on this one here. So there'll be another small little piece I got on the machine that fits on the top. And that's that part. See you next time.